everybody, welcome back to a new Vlogmas, woo! So, I'm sat in front of my lovely Christmas tree, which you would have seen in my previous video. I will link it up here, or up here, to go and check out if you want to see it. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you how to get this makeup look. Nice, glowy, easy Christmas makeup look. I am a girl who isn't very good at makeup, especially eyeshadow. I don't really know what I'm doing. I can't do winged eyeliner. I really can't put fake eyelashes on myself. Um, so yeah, basically this is a simple look that you can do. Super easy. If you're like me and you're just a bit like, oh, I don't really know how to do makeup, but I want to look a bit more kind of festive, then hopefully this makeup look is exactly what you need. If not, I hope you enjoy this video. Just a little get ready with me um, for the festive season. And of course, I'm in festive red because, I mean, it's Christmas, right? I've got to make the most of the red colours. And this jumper is so cozy. I love it. So, without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I am going to get on with the makeup tutorial. Okay, hello. So, I clipped my hair back so I can make this face look super pretty. Um, I've already cleansed and used moisturiser, so we're all ready, ready to go, you know. Um, so the first thing I'm going to use is this um, Dermalogica Skin Perfect Primer. Helps your makeup stay on, like, all day. So, obviously, you're going to use this. It's great for party season. Great for keeping your makeup on all day, especially during Christmas Day. You want to make sure your makeup doesn't slip. Or if you're going to a Christmas party, or if you're going to an event, it's nice to know that your makeup's going to stay on. Um, so you need like this amount. Can you see that? It's not going to focus, but you need this amount. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to pop that on to my face and rub it in. I'm then going to go in with a nice glowy base. Now, when Christmas comes, I quite like to have that glowy, kind of fresh feeling face that just kind of screams glam you know and for me that's kind of like more of a glowy base if you prefer a matte base go for that but for me all about the glow so i'm going to be using the l'oreal true match foundation this stuff is really really good um i just really enjoy it so i'm going to put that on the back of my hand and using my beauty blender i'm just gonna pop it on my face as you can tell this is quite dark but it's just because i I'm tanned, I haven't tanned my face, so um, that's why it looks a bit silly currently. But it does all blend in, I promise. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to pop on a bit of concealer. Um, this is the matching concealer, the Dream Match one. Um, Popping that under the eyes. I don't tend to put too much concealer on, but if you're going for a party or you're going out for an event after work, this is a good um, concealer just to kind of hold in your makeup, add a little bit of extra um, coverage so that you know your makeup's gonna stay. Okay, base is complete. Currently look kind of ghost-like, but it's fine. The magic is about to start. So, I'm next going to go in and do my eyebrows whilst the base kind of sets into my skin. Um, I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I like to just kind of draw them in a little bit. That's kind of all I do. I don't really do anything too much. My eyebrows are darker than my hair. So um, they do look quite bold, but I quite like it like that. Um, so yeah, gonna give them a little comb and a little fill in, and then um, my eyebrows will be looking more put together. I am now gonna just pop a little bit of the HD Brows, what's this called? Brow Colour Fix in just to set them so that they uh, 
don't fall out of place. I have this issue, always, where like some of my eyebrow hairs just like hang low and I'm like, what are you doing? Um, it happens quite often, so yeah. This doesn't really do that much of a job. I used to use the clear one and that was amazing, but um, I ran out of that, so this is all I have at the moment. But, you know, it does the job for now until that runs out. I'm gonna stick with it. So, now we get onto the fun part, doing the little bit of contour and a little bit of highlight. So, I am not the best at makeup, as we all know, which is why I do this video. Um, so, I like to keep it simple, as I always do, um, and do like the normal kind of contour bronzer situation that I always do like every day. Um, so, today I'm gonna be using the Catrice Mineral Bronzer SPF. It looks like this. The packaging um and it's quite a darker it's kind of it's kind of a darker um bronzer which works when i'm a bit tanned i don't use this one when i'm tanned because i look orange um i'm just gonna go in with the brush the good thing about this or it may be bad thing about this bronzer is that it's very kind of um like it goes quite powdery very quickly I don't know if you can see that. So like a little product goes a long way. Um, so you do have to be careful because sometimes you can look a tad orange. So yeah. Um, but I'm just going to blend this into my cheeks to give myself a bit of colour. Um, like I said, I keep it simple. I don't go crazy. I'm not, I don't know too much about contouring and the best way to do it so I just do it kind of my way um and so far it seems to be working for me so you know I'm just gonna roll with it if you're looking for more of a kind of um sparkly kind of bronzer um you could go for this one which I use the highlighter of this is the um Charlotte Tilbury film star bronze and glow it's not super sparkly, but it has a slight sparkle. This one is quite pale, so um, I mean, I use it for when I've got my pale skin. Um, but yeah, I kind of like to keep this, the bronzer matte, so that when I go in with the highlighter and my eyeshadow, which I'm gonna show you in a bit, um, it doesn't look like too much sparkle. It's just like a little bit of sparkle. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit onto the neck. Not too much because then it goes all over your clothes and that is the worst. Um, and then a little bit on my nose. So there you have it. That is my bronze. I put a bit on too much on my forehead. Hang on. This happens a lot. I uh, get a bit carried away and end up with like bronze patches where they shouldn't be. There we go. It's a bit better. Um, so yeah, now I'm all bronzed up which I love, I love feeling bronzed. Um, I'm now gonna go in with um, my eyeshadow. I'm gonna leave my highlighter till last. Only reason being is because I like to put highlighter on my eyes and I like to have my eyes done before I go in, in with the highlighter. So, now we're getting onto the fun part. So, I am very simple, as I've said before, <laughs> with my makeup. I don't go crazy, I don't own lots of makeup. I'm very just, kind of, meh, I don't really care. But when it comes to Christmas, it's nice to just put a little bit of extra kind of oomph into your makeup. And if you're like me and you don't really own a lot of makeup, slash you're not really that into it, slash you don't really know how to do it. Like I don't know what I'm doing. I just kind of try and try and do whatever I can. Um, I'm gonna show you just a simple eye look that you can do that just kind of is easy and it adds a little bit of glitz and glam to your makeup without going crazy so you still feel comfortable in you with a little bit of something extra, you know? So, I'm gonna be using the um, Crystallized Amethyst Eyeshadow Palette from Catrice Cosmetics. This is something I was gifted recently and I love it, I've been using it for the last week or so and I love it. So I'm gonna show you all the colors that you should be using in this but first of all i'm going to use bronzer on my eyelids which i said this in my last get ready with me 
kind of a weird thing i don't think a lot of people do it but i find it really useful because it gives that perfect kind of bronzy color that my whole face is kind of going for so it means that like everything kind of works together if you know what i mean i'm going to be using the l'oreal backed bronze bronzer please excuse how grim this looks um i've had this for ages i used to use this one as a bronzer before i got the catrice one um again an amazing bronzer if you don't want to spend loads of money um yes yeah, so i'm just going to pop this all over my eyelid just kind of like really lightly so there's a bit of color there um this just like i said gives a base um this is what i usually do on a daily basis if i want to put a bit of something on my eyes i just put like a wash of bronzer and it gives a nice color so yeah not to everyone's cup of tea you could just use an eyeshadow to be honest but i like the color of this so um that's what we're rolling with so i don't know if you can tell but it looks just kind of like a nice wash of color nothing crazy but i like the look of it so then we get into the pump part so in the crystallized amethyst palette you've got quite a few shimmery shades um and i am going to be using god i am going to be using crystal which is a really nice kind of golden shimmery shade and courage again another sh lovely shimmery shade but you've also got gold digger which is kind of more of a bronze color um it's also got some purples and some blues if you're into more of your colors but yeah so i'm going to go in with uh crystal oh maybe gold digger no crystal so I'll take my little brush with crystal i'm just gonna go over like the inner part of my eye i don't really know what the um technical terms are so i apologize but yeah um so it's just like a kind of nice champagne shimmery shade on the first half of my eyeball um eyeball oh, eyelid god help me tell that this is not something i do usually but yeah so it just adds a little bit of shimmer i just love it let me get up close and show you the so this one's got no eye like glitter eyeshadow on it and this one has i don't know if you can see anything from that but if you can't i apologize and i will cut that bit out um so yeah i'm just gonna do the same on this eye um this is just a really nice way of just adding that little bit of shimmer it's not too intense because it kind of blends nicely into the um the bronzer that i've just popped on my eye pot put on my eye um so now you should have like half a shimmery eye half a bronzed eye i don't know if you can see what i'm doing oh god sorry <laughs> um but it's just like really like natural it's not too in your in your face which is the perfect kind of vibe if you ask me um so yeah so now it's half brown half glittery kind of next i'm going to go in with the color called courage which is more of a kind of silvery color and this i'm going to put in like the inner first part of my eye slash the inner corner in the corner is that what it's called in the corner. i think it's the inner corner god i don't know um this just kind of highlights that section of your eye i mean it doesn't really make too much difference but it does just kind of glitz up that area of the face and it's li slightly lighter so it makes your inner corner kind of glow a little bit more which you know i'm all for so next up i'm going to use this little kind of small brush and pop a little br bit of bronzer the one i used over my eye before and just pop it kind of like along the lash line um just under your eye this just gives like it kind of blends the eyeshadow from the like the top of your eyelid down quite nicely which i like um again just kind of adds a bit of something extra to the look and then to make this eyeshadow look even better i'm going in with this color called gold digger which is more of a bronzy shade and 
and I'm going to pop a little bit of this under the eye as well. So that just kind of, you know, adds a little bit of glitz to the under eye situation. Um, oh, I really like it. It looks nice. So yeah, as you can see, it's kind of glittery here, a little bit of bronzed on this side. So it's kind of like blended out. Um, and then there's a little bit of brown kind of bronziness underneath um which i really like it's really simple but it's not and it's not too like in your face and i really like that i think sometimes you can go a bit crazy if you want but like when you're wearing a glitzy outfit or when you've got something like this red on you don't want to go like super sequin and super glitter unless you love that and if you love that go for it but if you're like me and you don't know how to do that kind of stuff it's nice to keep it simple so now we're done with the eyeshadow, I am going to get my highlights palette out. Oh, yes. And I am going to use my little highlighter brush. I'm going to pop a little bit of this on my cheeks to glow up the cheeks situation. Um, and again on this side. And then down the nose. Cupid's bow, and then I'm going to take this brush and just pop a little bit under the brow bone um, just to kind of finish off the eye look, and then a little bit above the eyebrow just to kind of glow it up, you know. So that is the highlighter situation. I'm now going to pop a little bit blush on just to kind of give it a less a little bit of color because at the moment we're kind of bronze and highlight and there's nothing else so i'm going to use this palette this is from knit and fab the colors are in the wrong order because all the things have fallen out um but i'm going to be using this kind of um this color down here which is kind of muted it's not too pink it's kind of slightly bronzy um i'm just gonna pop that onto my cheeks to give a little bit of colour and then blend it with this brush so I don't look too, what's the word, too blushy? That's not the right word is it? You don't say that. Um, so yeah, now we get to finish off the look with a bit of mascara and obviously something on my lips. So the mascara I've been using, um, I've been using this for a while actually, it's the YSL uh volume effect the curler it's in this really nice pink packaging i love it um i'm gonna curl my eyelashes because i have the world's worst eyelashes so um they need a little bit of tlc to make them look a little bit prettier um so yeah i really like this look like i just feel so glam even though this is not a glam look really it's probably just a mediocre look for some people but um, for you simple gals, it's a great look um, and has you ready for the party season. Um, so I'm going to whack some of this mascara on. Okay, eyes are complete. You could also wear thick eyelashes. Um, I'm not very good at putting those on. Um, great if you're actually going for like a full on like party, Christmas party situation. Eyelashes are great for that. But if you're just going for like a Christmas Eve drink or you're just chilling with the family or just Christmas day makeup, you know, keep it simple. But like I said, eyelashes would look perfect with this look because it's kind of glammy, isn't it? So now, we have the favourite part, adding something onto the lips. I am going to go for an iconic lip gloss. Um, I love a lip gloss at the moment. I don't know why. Really enjoying it. Um, and I love a nude. So this is called Nearly Nude. Um, you could go for a red lip. If you weren't wearing red, you could go for just, you know, a darker colour. I think nudes are always good to go for at this time of year because if you're wearing a sparkly outfit, you can keep it simple on the, the lips. Um, you could equally go crazy if you wanted to. Um, I'm not going red because 
I'm wearing red. I can't get into my lip gloss, but now I can. <laughs> um, like I said, this is the Iconic Lip Gloss in Nearly Nude. Um, I've not actually used this one before. Um, oh, this colour is so nice. How nice is that lip colour? Excuse my dry lips. Um, they're not cooperating with me at the moment. Oh, I love it. And it's also like one of those lip plumping lip glosses. So, it has a nice tingling feeling. It's really lovely. Right, to complete this look, so that we look ready, party ready. Oh God, those clips have dented my hair. Um, always happens. I'm gonna whack in a glitzy headband um, because, you know, no party look is complete without a bit of glitz. Um, this is from Primark, any of you are wondering. Um, I think Zara did a similar one not too long ago, but there we have it. What a cute little glitzy glam makeup look. Like I said, super simple for those of you girls who just want to keep it simple this Christmas. We're not really that great at makeup. Um, it's just a super easy kind of makeup look and you just feel really glam and cute and pretty and that is what you want to feel at this time of year. Um, so yeah, that is my festive Christmas makeup look for anyone who doesn't know how to do makeup or if you just want to keep it simple then hopefully this is of use. I apologise if the uh, makeup tutorial wasn't the best. I'm not really into makeup tutorials, I don't really know how you do them. So I've tried my best, hopefully you enjoyed it. I will link this jumper below, it's from H&M, it's gorgeous. Um, this is from Primark as I said, but if I can find one online, I will link that as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this guys, and I will see you in my next Vlogmas.